gavel yeah, here. But uh, welcome to our meeting here, the Town of Fontana Dam Town Council meeting for uh, uh, see Wednesday, September the 11th. We're going to call the order at 5:35. That's 18. Oh, did I, what did I say? The 11th. 18. <laughs> Over you at? <laughs> now I don't feel so bad. About that. I actually saw, I don't know why I was thinking, maybe I just saw it. All right, agenda, uh, do we have anything to adjust or change to that? Otherwise, entertaining a motion to approve that. Aye. Aye. Thomas makes the motion all over. Aye. Aye. Yes. Let's see, July minutes. We didn't have a meeting in August, so we had no August events. Look good to me. It's been a while. So I don't get early. I didn't. I didn't notice anything. There's no changes, adjustments. I'll entertain a motion on that one. Uh, motion to approve the minutes for July. All right. I'm gonna set the motions. All in favor. Aye. All right. We got no public today, except for everyone out there. Kevin. And What's Kevin, on? of course, Kevin, you got anything to uh, no, no, I'm good. share with us today? No, sir, I'm, I'm good. Thank you, though. All right. Uh, thank you. All right. Okay. So, um, currently in our uh, checking bank account, our general fund, we have $93,593.65. And our utility fund, we have $8,617.69. That's a total of 102 to 1134. That will reduce significantly one of these checks that I just wrote. <laughs> so, also, can you tell me roughly out of that 93 the restricted power bill where what? Uh, I think, let's see. No, I think it's uh, I think it's like between the power bill and we still have like a little bit of $1,500 oh, that in that electrical thing. So, uh, we have like uh, 31. So it's about like that, about 31,000 of that. Okay. So roughly 31 of that is restricted mm -hmm. use? Yeah, they can only use for certain things. All right. Uh, anything else on the financials there? Well, just going into the budget closeout, I was working desperately trying to get that done today, but we ran up on a couple of things. And uh, one of them being that uh, earlier in the year, was it this year or late last year? It was late last year. It was in November, right? When it was that we had moved, we discovered that the TDA has a 3% operating cost that can go to the town. And we had moved that over because we had never used that money. So the administration. Yeah. And since that was the administration, she had, she administrated with her town administration. Uh, we, we were trying to get creative with some funding uh sources into the town so we realized we had not uh Alec done that down. for i guess pretty much the existence of the town for most well at least as far back as jessica right because jessica was taking that money uh when she was administrating that was the previous town administrator and she was taking that money and i guess i guess she was just writing her I think she was they were writing a check to her directly to administrate that so it was a little bit different uh, sort of deal. So anyway, we had a question with regard to Willow May's accounting of that and where it was as a revenue uh, source. We were basically trying to look at what revenues did we have, uh, you know, and, and trying to make sure that our our uh, shortfall and our general fund pull was accurate. Plus, I was trying to look at it for projections as far as payoffs and whatnot as well. Right. So, and anyway, in discovering that, and then I tried to call her and didn't get a hold of her. She had already done. So, we're going to have to postpone it another month. I apologize for that. That uh, uh, will give us time uh, to work things out a little bit more completely, I think, with the resort. Uh, I think we're on a plan that will be beneficial for everybody. So, uh, hopefully, that will be a more complete report. Next month. Yes, yeah, so, so gave me a synopsis yesterday that we've got uh, some resolutions for the previous budget year uh, in the works as well as kind of an overall plan moving forward on 
you know, the, the user fee, the, the water, uh, wastewater fee, uh, stuff like that. So I'm encouraged. Uh, so it gives us another month to kind of continue working, working, working through those details. I will say that one thing that we are going to do uh, in the first payroll of October, we are moving Dennis back and under the town's umbrella so that we get rid of his overtime to the because as it is, he, when he clocks in at the resort, it doesn't differentiate that he's picking up trash or he's doing water. So he, all the trash pickup that he does is basically overtime. And uh, that, that's a big hit to the resort. So we are putting that back in under the pounds of that. And I think that would be very beneficial to everybody. So, uh, But everything else is already made the same. Entree. Thank you timing. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure we will once we talk to all the and so. Yeah, ne next month, hopefully, we will have something, you know, concrete that we can sort of pass, and, you know, we'll have some, you know. Uh, I have most of it worked out. It's just that $16,000 one where that's at, because we moved get that into our. We moved that into the general fund for the specific purpose of taking some of the strain off the resort. I asked that question, and I guess uh, I was like, yeah, "Well, we couldn't get Willow May on the phone, so we decided to wait another month." As you know, that should be it. So we just want to make sure that's things in motion, so it didn't make sense. We'll wait and see if we can resolve that before we close that. All right, water utility update. Okay. Hi, so, yeah. so they showed the pool off today about noon somewhere through there. Um, saving about 40 minutes today from where I was at yesterday, about two one up. So hopefully um, we won't lose as much tonight. Kind of be able to gauge a little bit better concerts that actually contribute to as we were using today. We have, though, I mean, like at, at, in the minutes, you know, for last month, we talked about how the hours had dropped from like 15, 3 down to about 13 hours a day, and that we were uh, had a reduction. In so now that's all went back up, right? Yes, from when we got to the 13 and a half from uh, the last time we met when rural water was here, that's creeped back up. We're back up to some days we get full, most days we get full, some days we don't feel the tank completely full at the 14 and a half hour days. So I'm hoping this will take, fingers crossed, an hour off our time of day, maybe. And what that's... was it you were saying when we talked yesterday that it doesn't seem to matter whether there's 100 people in the resort yeah, or if there's 5,000 people in the resort? Yeah, it's not making that big of a, I mean, trying to go back, I'm going to go back and try to let do the holiday from when I know some of the car groups were here and compare what we actually try to get a, an actual usage number of what like how much it's changing when the village is packed full and when there's nobody here because our hours per day are not changing I mean, it's taking the same we're still gaining the same we're still losing the same I just want to know try to compare and see get an accurate number of what how much we're actually using but at the end of the day, if, if demand's 30,000 versus 50,000, you know, when you're producing 200,000. Yeah, we're back up to the, in the 240s. 10% doesn't really make a huge drop in the it's funding. It's kind of, I don't know. Well, I, I will say that we will, should, I mean, because it is going to be jam this weekend. Yeah, it's a whole two, resort. It's two weekends in a row. Yeah. yeah. Well, so uh, there's the errors to just... We're just full the weekend. We're, 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 we're competition clock and the answers. Oh, all the clock. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so there will be a bunch of them. So we're going to be booked up. It's looking like it's like we were, it's looking like it's anywhere from 20 to 30,000 gallons extra when we're slammed full. And really, and that's not that much use. I mean, we boil it down to that village being packed. And actually, what we're producing, if we were to get to a point where we just had a 10 to 15% water loss, on top of the normal on top water loss. I mean, that's going to be. Yeah. Some days it's going to be well under 50,000 gallons a day. Right. But it's just kind of out of how much we're actually losing. Losing. Or misplacing or what was the <laughs> thing? What was <laughs> the <laughs> time? is unaccounted. Yes, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so, me and Zell, we were talking yesterday. We, we, there can be a lost sea over here somewhere. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, there can be a lost sea. 
That's true. Yeah, well, it's got to be going somewhere. Like, it's not cheated to the top. Are we refilling the aquifer and now it's treated water? You know, you yeah. have to. I have a question on that. Like, when, when I see some of the creeks that are still, like, running really smoothly, even though, like, a lot of the smaller tributaries are fully dry, is, is that the kind of thing where there's so much groundwater and stuff going through it that you wouldn't be able to detect the chlorine? Or could be, like, probably, regularly probably. We can get a question for it. I mean, there is no doubt. There's, we saw that on 28. There was water shooting. I mean, it was not coming up to the ground. And the closer we dug, it was not like when, I mean, it was a three quarter line shooting in the ground. And it was just going into the, the creek beside it. But the ground around it was not, I mean, it was the, you just had to see it to believe it. When he, when he finally went yeah, yeah, yeah. that last scoop, and then there's the water. But there was no black like, mud puddles, anything like that. Just, I mean, teeth were right on top of it. That is just crazy, though. <laughs> but, you know, it's just crazy. Tyson with Rural Water, who was repli replaced Keith Bud, was supposed to be up here uh, Tuesday. And uh, he, they, his, his bosses had scheduled something with USDA. Yeah, so he was he had some uh, un unexpected to him. So uh, he wasn't able to make it. But he just, uh, he has uh, said committed to coming up here just as quickly as he can get here. Now Keith knows our system inside now, but Tyson's a little bit younger. Who knows? You know, maybe he fresh was, eyes or something. Yeah, he, you he know, he just three months. Right. Trying to keep I mean, the western part of the was part of his. I mean, I don't know how long he's going to water, but he's done it for a few years. And mm -hmm. um, but him and Keith just kind of split up the western. He stayed closer to the Hickory area, and then Keith would take you know us and you know some of the most western counties so it's but you now it's just down to him so it's kind of a and I, he had some training he had to go to last week so it's just he's gonna get through hopefully within the next two weeks and he's gonna reach out to me as soon as we can nail down some time on the schedule and hope to spend two to three days here helping us fresh eyes yeah and, I and, and he's, he's younger and can maybe can get into rougher terrain or something too yeah and robin had uh, taken me down in the woods where roscoe had been doing some of the horse trails and showed me some of the, the hydrants and I mean, it is wet down there i mean it was there's got to be and we actually bowed off that section didn't make that big of a difference but we just bowed it off for an hour so it's not where you're really going to see it's like if it was down like for overnight period but i mean we can't cut the top of the dam off for that long or the marina off for that long and, but if, when he brings his correlator in here, if we can find the leak and narrow it down within a few feet, yeah. they said, you know, we could dig it out and try to we could just cap that whole section off if it's not going right. to, if it's got a tap coming off of that. Right. But now, I mean, it's just, everything just goes down here. Like, we had a leak out of the bow, we pack it down. Instead of coming up to the ground, it was just the ground was dry around it, and it was just in a bow box just going straight down. Is that the marina That's one that they were playing on the ground? No, it was like about the channel sort out one. And then I think it was a we hit the marina the marina fix that. Yeah, that yeah. And that doesn't make things. much of a difference, right? No, it's not. I mean, but we I have a feeling it's like that one that was shooting water out and then down and there wasn't even mud or anything around it. It's gonna be something like that. You yeah. know, we take the pressure and we cap that off, close that off, I mean sooner or later it's I mean it just starts creeping back up and it's just you just gotta think that there's something it's I still go back to when uh you when you, we bound off out on the main road there, and you said it was like we didn't lose any water hardly at all. Did yeah, we go up back and check on that again? I don't know that they bowed it off again, but I think it's about it's down here. Down here at the bottom of the hill, where we put that view out in, there's several out there. There's one in the center of the intersection there. You bow that off, and it fixes all of our problems. But you bow that off, we can't get water up to the, I don't know what all it cuts off, but we can't get water up to the village center. Right. Because we're about off that hole. Because that the village. But it sounds like that's got to be wherever that all goes, and and, and then we were fields. That's got to be in that area. I know, it, and it's and we bound. What's crazy is we bound off sections around that. What we can bound off like around the grill, Jim bound that off. We bound off the big wood going up to all the cabins, and we're not. When we bound off those individual sections, we're not seeing the change that we did when we bound off that bow right there. It is. I think we probably should try that again just to see. I mean, you're right. We can't leave it off because we've got to get water into the so we'll just change, but uh, we, we ain't going to do it this weekend, but when it slows down, we it, the next weekend, we have, we've got a slow day. There's, you know, 
do it if I'm wanting before laundry gets started. Well, I don't know. I get here at 4 o'clock in the morning, so the sooner the maintenance was to be able to get here before we got laundry started, just sending like a memo out that, hey, I don't know that you're going to be in the water, but you might be here for, you know, leave it out for 30 minutes an hour and see right. if it stops the tank from dropping like it does. So that center valve, is there like some, because you said turning all the other stuff around, it doesn't have the same impact. Is that sort of like the central It's the same pipe one that goes through there, but I don't know where that's, I don't know if it's feeding up to the lodge, if it's cutting out, because there's several valves there. I don't know if it's cutting out towards the grill, like that whole section off. I don't know what's out of water when we cut that off. We could go around and find out. But if it cuts, but see, here's the problem with that. If we cut that off, the village tank, even if we're not pumping, whatever that's still feeding, there's going to be water there because there's going to be water kind of gravity feeds back out of the. So. You are not going to be able to know until the village tank was empty, which we don't want to do. No, no, no. no. So that begs the question. And then if we could go in and see what didn't have water while we had that off, even while the village tank cut the pump off, we know there's not water going to be coming up that way. See where it, what's cut out, where it cuts off. Go through and see. So there we go. Two lines. I mean, a dedicated film. See, I've always been under the impression that it was like one six inch line going up, right? So when, you, when you're pumping, you know, your excess pressure We've got the loops. Pushes up there. Yeah. We've got the loop that feeds the, the village, all the, the feed lines. It comes up to the top of the village here when you the first entrance. Okay. There's a, we have one valve, there's two valves there. One that stands it around above Zell's office, yeah. after this stops. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we have that valve off. The next goes down 28 and yeah. cuts up Woods Road. Yeah. Okay. Before we had the 300 block, it, the, the intermediate tank got pumped and I was pumping through both lines. Right. Send it around in a loop. Okay. When you get out here to um, up above the, I think I have to look the map to be sure, but I think it's up above the garden units, maybe. There's a, a line that goes up there and it loops around. So there's two sections of line that feed that one line that goes up above the lodge here that goes straight to the village chain. But it's like a loop system. There's two endpoints to that one line that goes up to the village chain. Okay. So you're saying if you close, this one down here, it still has an inlet and or an outlet, depending on which one. What's well, it doesn't. It may not have an inlet, but it's had an outlet because it's going to go gravity feed because mm -hmm. it's on that. It's on the other side of the valve. Okay. You see what I'm saying? We can't. When it's coming into the use of the valve, water will come in yeah. coming up this way. When we cut this valve off, it's going to stop us being able to see any water from the village tank, from the intermediate tank to the village tank. Okay. But you've got this other side. When we cut the pump off anyway, that's when the gravity sort of kicks in right. from the village chain. Right. So it's going to fill all this out. Of right. It. Yeah. We just couldn't get any more water to it while that's closed. Right. But that might be something to look into. Can if it does not off? cut off anything, when we get done pumping of the evening, yeah. it's not that hard to cut a valve off. Right. If that does not affect anything in use yeah. of the evening, when we get through pumping, right. Or the, if we were able to valve that off and everybody still have water from the gravity, mm -hmm. right. then that would save quite a bit of water. You isolate that back section there and you see if you don't lose nearly as much on that tank, then you can surmise the major leakage is happening on the But I don't know if we see that, I don't know. They have to find out at the top of the dam of the marina if, if, it, if they still have water, if we close that valve. They could because it could be, it might not have anything to do with the woods road. It's open right now, and it goes back up 28, and then they run over to the marina. If that valve didn't, didn't cut them off, then we could close that valve with the Then it's a problem. We don't really, we don't really know, know exactly is. what our system is. Because there's no, there's no map. I never discussed nothing there. So you go to digging by those maps, and you find something totally different in there. Well, but this is the kind of stuff now that we're heading into off season, if we start checking these things out especially you know when we figure out when we got that grant money available we can we'll have some resources to back us yeah. as well and robin had mentioned to me the last time i talked to him what what would happen if we dug a well that serves the top of the dam in the marina with, with in the stable would there be enough water could we get a well that would be enough water to serve that area 
I mean, I know that they tried wells here before, and it was too much iron in it. Was that what it was? It makes make it red? No, it was. It, that, and then that wasn't out there towards Marina. Right? Yeah. yeah. That was out there. Yeah, but yeah, 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 it stopped. The, there's a valve in the real estate parking lot. It would get valve off the right. end from that point all the way back to the top of the dam to the marina that pulls out of our little tank or our or when we're pumping it comes water down that way. If we were able, if we were able by some miracle to get a well out there that would service that area, we could cut that, we could cap that line off right there. And that would eliminate all those hydrants, everything in the woods down there that's not used anymore. Hmm. Run it. So with but what would be the point of, of putting that expense into that if we're replacing lines anyway? Well, I mean, there, that's several be, miles of lines out that way. It may be cheaper to put in a well. So with a well, do you have to treat that water? You do. You would have to um, depend on what the water that you have to have. The well would be tested. It would be another public. It would be like the one that's out here at the administrative building. It depends on what's in it. It, uh, it, the only thing that's out there was that was the treatment, if, right? If everything looks great, then the, the 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 least amount of thing we'd have to feed would be some chlorine. And then you don't have to you would um depending on the size of the well like that stuff, you don't have to it would be kinda of like we would just have an ORC you just you don't as long as that well's in operation, you would just need somebody to you know go check it once a day. Or so I, I guess I wonder though, we've got a large body of water to draw from that we what about the possibility of a small, a small treatment yeah. plan for those two? And you take the well uh, to foster, is that too much treatment? That's there? too much. That's, a, that's an expense. It would be cheaper to any water. Okay. Well, because you would also need to have, you have to, treat the, anything you have a service water plan, like when, when you're actually filtering the water, yeah. you have to have an operator on site. Well is a whole different situation. Okay. You don't have to have an operator while that pumps for you. You don't have to have an operator on site because I know when they had that well, and I've had one at the Robinson when I rang a well and stuff. We would just go down and because they had to feed three different chemicals there because it's hot water. When we had the time, we just go check them every couple of hours just to check the feed pumps and stuff like that. But you don't have to do that. Depending on how big the well is, how big the system is, you know, it's like anything else. The bigger the system, the more you have to check things, the more responsibility. Things will be to it. So it's like I was saying before, though, <laughs> since we don't really have a clear grasp of, of our you know an accurate grasp of what our system looks like and the schematic of it that was going to be part of this initial investigation with this grant trying to define more clearly what is our system and also what are the areas that you know, where we can get our best bang for our buck from the pressure studies things like i that. don't think the pressure studies are going to help you out that much yeah because here's the deal when we're pumping water yeah Run the water plant up to your 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 pressure is gonna be higher in the lines. When you cut them pumps off, cut that pump off, and you just go to gravity feed, your pressure is gonna change. Right. That's, You're gonna have to look at it, you know, pump on versus gravity. You would be instead of doing pressure tension, you would be better off to do like that's what real water's coming in here to do. It's a pressure kind of it's a correlator system. I mean he just cut down different valves and stuff. But instead of wasting money on doing pressure studies, it's not going to really give us because that's not going to help you if we don't know where the lines are. Right. Yeah, and I saw it. Well, and that's why I say that last. So. I, I think going around and actually saying, okay, from this schematic, we know there used to be a whole bunch of cabins going off in this direction. You know, how about we dig it up and we number one investigate that we have flow in there, and if we do, we just cap it. We take all of that stuff that's happening from the trunk on. But here's your deal. It would be better just to go in and start replacing because here's your deal. Those lines are so old. We we any capping that we have done has only held. We've only gained that for the most two weeks a month, and it starts breaking loose somewhere else. Yeah. So instead of wasting money on going in and trying to cap lines that are already old, use that money. We know that we've got a six inch line that we need to come down 28 with. We, okay. we know we've got a six inch line that needs to come around the old 300 block. Get into the village, you need a new six. We know where the moving lines are. That Let's replace them. Re start replacing instead of trying to find, trying to catch and stuff that's old stuff. History has showed us when we cap these lines off, we cap a six inch line in there at the marina. 
Well, honestly, yeah, to me, a little while. I think the best thing is that we figure, you know, and of course, with the engineers that are able to do that, the most direct way that we can follow the existing pathways, but that, that we, everything we don't need, we just don't even mess with. We don't mess with. Yeah. I mean, and then, it, what we need on the and you're going to have six inch coming from the top of the mountain. You're going to have a six inch going down. You're going to have a six inch coming around. As the village wants to expand, if there's expansion out that area, you can you can have companies come in here and tap under pressure. You can cut the water off and do a tap. It's not that it's that's a more economical way to go about it because we found that these old lines, patching and repairing, that's just throwing good money after bad. Yeah, because they're going to disintegrate somewhere else on the line. Yeah, it's that we've seen. And I mean, because you know, if you turn it off to do the patch. That that then takes the pressure out of the lines, but then when you put it back on, then whatever that weak spot's at is going to. So, but I guess here's all here's the dilemma: though. we don't have enough money to do all of our trunk lines. I don't believe. So, which trunk lines do we focus on? We start at one end of the system, and we start working our way this way, and just I mean, you just have we we'll just have to go as far as the money will take us. So, and, do we start at the intermediate thing then? I would come up the road. Start, pick one end of the village and start that. And just start replacing. Unless if you're in the course before this all gets started, we find this massive loop. Yes, but I mean that's gonna be your and that's gonna look at it last years and years and years down the road. Instead of just patching and then hey, it's going great for a month and then all of a sudden somewhere else flows and we're back in the same situation. Right. And the math is that I mean it'll be back and we'll come in, we'll have accurate math. Where our lines are. And My biggest concern, though, is like we'll run out of money, and then we're going to have this new piping going into this old piping, and then we're going to have these. Well, maybe that'll stuff. blow it up and show us where it's at if we don't get the problem. <laughs> I mean, honestly, God, that's what it's going to take. I mean, <laughs> down like this, but we can eliminate if we could get half of the if we could get half of the six inch line. It, I mean, that's half of the. No, I think it'd be the cut your loss. You think? Well, here is the bottom line for the resort, uh, as far as you know, because it's expensive to operate this water, but as we well know, if we can get the leaks under control, it drops. I mean, during the winter time, one person can operate that. Like, I could do that. I could come up you know, and run one person. person. Yeah, I mean, and in the summertime, we're not going to need three operators. We're just not going to need that. If you figure you've got the village tax and you figure 150,000 gallons a day, do you know how long that's going to take? Well, you're doing right now 220000 or more in a 14-hour yeah, day. day. We're talking a full-time person and a part-time person, even at the height of the summer. Uh, the, think about that cost savings. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the chemical yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm going to have to order chemicals next week. I'm going to have to order chemicals. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, I, I don't, you know, I, I've always thought the demand was probably <laughs> sitting somewhere, you know, sub 50 for the most part. Yeah, I mean, you get to think of, and I don't know, but it's a, it's a way for me that you can, you know, confirm the number of even more is just actually seeing what the difference is. Yeah. But like you said, if we could maybe start turning a few valves here or there and kind of measure the effect and start deducing it looks like there's a big chunk in this area and it is cool. an area to start yeah. sort of focus. Yeah, um Tossy comes, I mean he can he's got some um newer machines and stuff and newer technology that I think he's gonna bring with him. Yeah. And maybe we will he actually have a machine that will measure off the ground the underground temperature, the temperature of the ground and stuff. And if we got a big there's gonna be a big timber shed in the software for it. And if they I don't know if they if they purchased that yet, but they were, that was going to be in the works. We can correlate that and say this correlator says, hey, there's a leak in this area. He can use that machine to kind of confirm exactly where it's at before we do start digging. And we can do some yeah. of these sleeves and patching this stuff, but it's, I mean, just history showing it's just not holding. I agree. It's just, I never thought the, the, the patches or the caps are really a long term solution. It just, you know, I thought it might be longer it, term. Than it, it might, it, you know, it might cost us what. It might take a day to dig it up and cap it versus weeks to replace a line, you know. And I mean, it's not nearly as cost intensive, I suppose, which is why I was kind of thinking we can go with that area. But if we can turn some valves, I think you might be onto something with some of your initial observations. And now it's like, hey, if we were to close this off and try to isolate this section out of the equation when we're under gravity, pressure just, because we just don't know i mean exactly where these want it's just trial and error and we're just, right we to, i mean just have to start trying again but we don't want to do this in the middle of the summer no. and have anything blow no. out when we've got a village full of people well and that is, is another kind of saving thing is that even though it's been very frustrating with this grant cycle we're trying to get this moving along we couldn't have really done anything anyway so you know, nice to, to see it. No. you know so it's going to be the end of october before we could really get started you know to um, begin with, so. I have a question because a lot of times we're working on all this stuff. We're, we're looking at the 1942 maps, but there's this map I've seen where it's from the 1974 renovation when they built this building and it shows like changes in utilities. I doubt it's 100% accurate, but. I don't think I've seen that. Map. Found... I would be interested to see that. I'll look through the maps and I'll look through the maps and uh, tomorrow. Did you see that, Tom? I saw it on, I think, the scans I got that went from paper that wasn't in the initial data repository that we got when, when. I felt I know there's another map down there that's got some of the ones that I looked at that's one that says not very accurate on it. Oh, um, that might be the one that I, I think. I don't know what that one is. I got the one with that map. We got plenty of that accurate. Yeah. Yeah. It said that the green pop on the screen. It's like the signal we said this one is spot on. Yeah, it said that the pop not very <laughs> accurate, but I don't know if that what you I can't think right off the top of my head I mean, what that one is. Just a ballpark. But I, just, I remember seeing one that had shown like this building and how its connections were because it was different and that, just when you mentioned that valve down there on that road that just made me think of it yeah there was that because was this good. was in different this was built much later yeah, yeah. And, and there was like a little bit of stuff up here but then they had like yeah. kind of gone back over it as far as i could like so with the uh yeah. and i can get with jeff because he knows that there's been some areas around the cabins that have been replaced through the years and sorry yeah. You know, and there was water lines, I think, uh, that the gill came in when, when Phillips and Jordan had the lines. <laughs> and I think it was the 900 block that they replaced the lines up there. Yeah, and I think there was a vibe up there somewhere that he said it was supposed to be cut off that was fed a, an area that had a lot of leaks in it. I mean, I want to even show me that valve, and then, I mean, who knows? We, if there's a valve box or we can actually see that valve, it may be spewing water down in the ground. I mean, the packet, if it's an old valve, the packet could be gone out of it as well on this feet. Well, and that's what that's what Brandon had said about the the one of the marina, the hydrant. He was like, it, it looks fine uh, at the surface. You dig down at the bottom where the you know, valve connects into it, and it's just it's just gone. It's just spraying water out of the bottom. Yeah, and see, that's what we. And it, the water just goes down. I mean, it's 
you would think there would be water wet places around it. There, every, everyone that I have seen, it is not. It's just an mm -hmm. accident. Somebody either heard it or we were just out looking and happened to find it. It's crazy. Why wouldn't it come to Where was that happening? Was it down on the dock? Um, or was it up on the dock? Yeah, the water just visited in the water. So it's yeah. spewing into the, into the lake. Uh, no, no, I think it's the one at the top, but I, I don't know for sure. I just saw the replacement part. I didn't see where he had yeah, it. I have been reading the marina, the, the meter at the marina at the top of the bathrooms. I started doing that. Um, yeah. So when you replace that, does it make it better? When we replace it. Um, it, it's still got two gallons in it, but I've not, when I've been out there, I just go read it and watch it for a couple of minutes. I've not seen it spin in the four. It was, it was kind of picking up, but I will need to go read it um, next Tuesday to have another week's reading on it to see what the difference is. But I know when they replaced that full of burn the bathrooms, that made a, a yeah. huge difference. I had a lot of people come down there and be like, hey, that toilet's running. <laughs> Could go up there and look at it, it wouldn't be run anymore. But yeah, I just went and told Mike, I'm like, look, this is broke. It wasn't running last night when I went to this meeting. I think Dennis went in there and just turned it off. And somebody turned it back on. Yeah. And um so I only just went and found me last night. Look, I can't fix this. I opened the, the back of the toilet. I mean, it was just water shooting down through there. There was no adjusting there. I'm like, could you please go look at this? And fix it because it wasn't running last night. This morning when I go up there to read it, meter it's wide open. So they didn't look at it. It's all it. You couldn't replace. It. You couldn't fix the part. And they just replaced the toilet. Problem fixed. Yeah. <sighs> this water. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. I, mean, I just sit. I mean, I'm just trying to brainstorm. I'm just like, yeah. What have I tried? What is working? What's not working? Yeah. Well, one thing about it, when, once we ever get it up and operating correctly, we're all going to be experts. <laughs> <laughs> we could probably just about go work anywhere in the state of North Carolina. I mean, like, I'm looking forward to the day for like six hours. It's going to be a long day at the water plant. Yeah, I know. I can't even imagine that time. I, mean, I can't even imagine. Yeah. So, it just in that, uh, the grant update, I said Thomas over yesterday, but uh, so. With the environmental study that we was required to get this ARC grant, uh, we ended up having to send letters to uh, three tribes: uh, the uh, Cherokee and Cherokee, and then the one in Oklahoma, and then uh, the Catawba in South Carolina. And then the Catawba wrote back to Becca and didn't want the email version; they wanted the snail mail, so I had to mail that out. So now we have 30 days from that. We're probably about halfway into that at one month, so they have 30 days to reply. There's nothing within that 30 days, and uh, <laughs> we'll get it released. I I hesitate to say that because every time I said that, there's something else that's cropped up. I don't know why they did not to see up the email like all the others did, but they didn't. So uh, I don't know what that implies, what that means, or anything else. So that is where we're at on that grant. We're waiting on that 30 days from the time that I sent it certified, you know. So from the time that that 30 days expires, not heard anything from anybody from, you know, Oklahoma or from the uh, Cherokee. So <laughs> there you go. That's uh, that is what we're waiting on. But it's going to coincide pretty good with the end of the season anyway. So that's what I think. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like we are like at the end of October, we just start. Yeah, we can start by Sunday, basically. Yeah. Try and get as much done before we start getting the freeze. And then I, I just received an email from this back at about because they are doing the, 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 the council of government. Yeah. And I, uh, hey, what is that? Asset inventory. Yeah, hey, yeah. Yeah, grant. And, uh, inventory. And she was saying, uh, let me see what she said. We're getting close to in April to send a draft. And, uh, Miss some information that probably was in your head. If it does, cut it up. It probably does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so she followed in the history, and uh, and then we've had a couple of violations. We did receive a violation for uh, we exceeded the fecal limit at the wastewater plant. They have not fined us. They just sent us a violation. And we. Uh, the reason for that is because there was a couple of switches that had gone out that nobody noticed we could get. It's, it's on the inactive side, but it keeps it pumped out so any of the sludge in that side doesn't rise up. And because it were out, the sludge got in, and that's what made it jack up. But, you know, we've got 
at least see for an ancient tablet. How much does it cost for a bucket of those? The last we ordered, it was, what, 200, right at $200 a bucket? Yeah. Thank and he you. goes to a bucket in two weeks, Thank maybe you. less. I think, and that's now, it'll slow down some as the water gets cooler because it won't eat it up. The problem with that, and the reason that's happening, is because where it goes in there, there's not enough contact time to pour it down into the water. So the system is not working very well like that because we just don't have enough contact time. Even if nothing else happens, we've got to look at trying to get that changed. And so hopefully from this uh, uh, grant that we've got coming in, this will, uh, or that we're working on now, if we can get that money, 150,000 would go to the wastewater plant, or to the wastewater, 150,000 would go to the water. We hope to use that other 150,000 for the water to help with the lines and help complete that. And then the 150,000 on the other side for the wastewater. Of course, we've got lines that we've got to get replaced there, but uh, hopefully we can at least get some done there. But in doing that, then it will put us online and in track for the distressed uh, classification. And if we get in that, that's when we get into significant money and we can hopefully get all of the plan. Uh, package plan, honestly, for the size that we would need, it's, you know, it's not, I mean, when you consider everything that we're having to pay in chemicals, that, with the, you know, the system that we have and the difficulty, it's not going to be that bad. Be, uh, he, uh, Troy, when he's up here, he gave that. Uh, of course, I spent a year or so ago, but his estimate was uh, not, it's like, she was like, it was way lower than what I anticipated when, uh, when he, I can't give you the number off the top of my head. I just remember saying, gosh, is that all? <laughs> you know, so uh, it is a lot cheaper than what you might think. I don't want to say cheaper, but less than what we think. Yes. Nothing's cheap anymore. Yeah, but, I mean, it's just, we could, you know, we, the water's made up for significant, I mean, difference in how much it's cost around now versus what it could be. And, you're right, and there's like, I know that there's things, yeah. In that, because we've worked it so hard that there's a lot of there's yeah, we're going to have to have some maintenance, have that maintenance um, sooner rather than later. We're yeah. probably going to have to add some um, anthracite on top of our filters, um, some of the pumps, um, some of the um, some of the stuff was just off the leak when they put it in there, right? They don't even, I mean, like some like our chlorine reliever was made before the plant when it was actually manufactured before the plant went into service, I think about two years. Um, it's just, you know, and we just, still got to get that trace study. I think we're going to be able to get out of that because it was not be good. It was not. It's not been mentioned anymore. So, um, well, that's good because I mean we went through all of that with Don. He's supposed to, like, you know, when he's working with that one company there. I think and Don used to be the water at what well, we got the one right now because we've not had any problems. Well, I had no back teeth come back. I had no. No back samples come from the water. So we know that we're getting the correct amount of contact time with our So family. next thing, what about the linen copper thing? Has anything started on that yet? Apparently, Dennis has started on that. He has started on it. Apparently. I will yes, stay on that because it's due by the end of this next month, right? It's or 16 dollars. 15 or 16 Yeah, I'm beginning of this. So. so what I'll do, if he, um, if he doesn't get it completed on the what I'll just have to I mean I've asked and asked and asked for months and months and months. No. If he doesn't, I'll just keep it. I'll just keep it. I mean, I'll just keep it myself. And it, you think that we can help with or? Um, like not, I, not really. It's just um, I just have to go through and. Is it that we are capable of doing it and to the qualifications oh, yeah. of the yeah, it's, it's There's nothing complicated about it. It's a little bit time consuming. I could probably have it done in a day. Okay. I mean, I probably have somebody to pay attention to the water plant, but I could get out and then use I mean, I could, if I try to go hard, maybe half a day. And our lead copper and all that. Our lead copper, I can already can't promise her that we have yeah. phosphate that's working like it should. No hits. Okay. So we're good on that. But we've had his support in the past, and we've had, we've got to have some lead copper pipes. Yeah, I think. Mean, Gonna be able to get there was a media that I went back and looked at the, the historical records 
on drinking water watch and there were some hits uh, there was some hits when i first came over here in 2017 before we started feeding off all steady yeah i think there was one maybe it wasn't a, a real big but there's other <laughs> be able to get a hit myself there's, there's gotta be it's gotta be in the system somewhere right right i've always thought it, if you don't flush you know if it sits in there you don't flush it out. See, that was you, that's what you, when you're doing a lead and copper sample, usually the customer is the one that pulls the sample. Like we would give, you have to stretch, then you would give to the customer, they would just be picked at a sample size. Or yes. Well, you want to pick a lead, a lead sample on a first trial. So you let the, the, the water sit in the lines overnight. And you do a first, but you don't flush your laundry thing. You put, you, it's a first draw sample. Because I wanted to do it. That's what you're about. Yeah. Yeah. So. From that particular uh, hour. Yes. Right. Yeah. There's a, the you really don't know what other draws off of that usually trunk have been happening. There's, um, usually they know, there's different tiers of different five class schools, churches, um, in, like residences, houses, and stuff like that. You have to, I have to get back and look because all the, the size of the system matters how many tier one, two, two or three samples that you have to have. Mm -hmm. But either, anywhere you pull it, you want to pull a first draw sample. And so if a homeowner comes back, and that's why we have to do all those individual notices to let you know the results of your sample. Um, then if you, if a homeowner was to have to have, would have a hit, uh, it's called an action level is what you would um, come back in above the action level. Then that homeowner, you know, we to investigate whether it was in there something in their home or was it something in the the municipality's lines that where that would get out. But most of the time, it's in the homeowners. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot to this lead and copper these days. So that's yeah, what I, and I, it seems to me like there's some subjectivity because whether or not a volume of water sits in a pipe one day versus 10 days would yeah. seem to have a significant difference in what that lead or copper level is going to end up being. Yes. Right. Especially, I mean, is it a slow time you or you it's hard to get by on the block? Well, usually you want somebody who's in our house that's using water at the normal basis, but when you get to bed that night and you're not using water, you're not, you want that first draw sample the right. next morning, like where it's had six, it's going to sit overnight. And I think in our sample pool, there's five cabins and five rooms in the lodge is what we pull from. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. 10 places you gotta pull Yeah, from. we have, we're on the 10s. And, and they, they give, don't they give the places that they want to pull from? Or you set up the land copper plan, like, this was set up years ago before I came over here. Probably well, before any of us came. Any of us were here. I don't know what to, I don't, I don't have to get, I don't know if they even have the paperwork down there, if they say that paperwork, but I would have to go back and see what they, because I know there's like, I think they had like maybe 60 some sample sites that they could choose from. Um, I don't know um, who determined those sample sites, but I know that we just pull from the, the same. Right now we're on 10 samples every three years. When I came over here, we we're on 10 samples every six months. So that phosphate has really they got us on a reduced monitoring schedule. Yeah. Because that's not cheap. But it You're doing 20 samples a year. Oh, yeah. yeah. We were having to do that every year. Right? Every six months. It's every six months. months, yeah. Coast to Now we're down to every three Ten years. samples every three years. Yeah, every three, three years. years. So, okay. yeah, that yeah. helped tremendously in cost on it. Phosphate is doing its job. Yeah, I just make coats. I was going to say, too, you know, sequesters. losses, <laughs> depending on where they are, <laughs> can actually help <laughs> with that. True story, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> We're not advocating losses, I'm just saying. How bad do you want to know? You know, do we have enough problems from now? You know, like, you want me to catch up? And, and do we maybe think about killing two birds if we know we've got some of that inventory there and we know we've got to replace some lines? And it's just lead service lines that you're, that you're required to place. And I know we don't have any of those that I think from what the, the research that I've done in high school, they say there is no lead service lines in here. Fittings and junctions or? It's so, um, even like pigtails, gooseneck, any of that kind of thing, soldering, anything like that. It's not, they want you to replace that, but that's not like an immediate concern. Yeah, they worry about so. so yeah, this is main concern is the actual lead lines, right? Yeah, like service. So, were lead lines used back in the day? Not on the map. I mean, you're talking about just in general. Apparently. 
That was a because that just says maybe so it's 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 everything. Doctors are just going to more smoking. So well, well, I mean, yeah, but you know, you know, so it makes, I don't know if it was actually lit as like a group, it's just, I don't know. I'm not done that far into it because I really just don't want to have to. I've got enough to try to keep up with without just trying to find stuff that's just what's all one of the two. I don't want to yeah, talk about it. Yeah, I see the problem too. I see them like, but yeah, everything on our lap, on our lungs, on our mouths, they galvanize. Yeah. And some of those may be, re- may be required to be replaced, but they want this inventory to swap to you and all over. No. I wish it was a little bit lighter because we probably did, we would be able to actually see. As we're doing, and, we can, and this is just this is not have to be completely 100 accurate. I mean, you just do the best you can with it. They want to see that you, and you can always get out those like if we replace and stuff. We will be able to look at back as far as I know and go and update these lines and stuff as we replace to what they're replaced to. So what they're, I think what they're wanting to know is you know like you're putting an effort into this and you're trying to take care if you do have blood problems you're taking care of it and there is funding out there that replace those lungs but we're just we're not we you just don't have to call yeah we just have to call it up it's kind of that's always a problem and like, I mean, we have, we were, they offered that um that, what, that company that um, reached out to us about you know trying to help and stuff offered funding to help us with this um to identify all these Wine and stuff. Turns out we would have to pay for their service. What they were doing was yeah. like looking for tax, looking at tax cards for you, and seeing when these uh, structures were built. Well, <laughs> and the, everything that they ask me is like, oh, we don't do stuff we like don't that. Do, like, we don't have makers, you know, like, yeah. we don't have mm-hmm. tax cards on any I mean, these, there's no, you can't go to the county office and get tax cards on all these, you know, individual yeah. habits. It's not, like, this is a resort, you know, like, we're not normal. When you just had a water system, like, there's not many. I mean, when we just got a few customers, and, and then we got the resort, I mean, customers were like, we're not feeding. I mean, didn't you need that? I did. I just need to send a copy that in. Perfect. Oh. I think that's all I got for you. Same old, same old. So, uh, that, one thing I would add to qualify or quantify there the 20000 a month operate, is that included, like, do you think that includes uh, the cost of the operators as well? I or is that more just that? Like a, because we need to do like a power deal, I was kind of estimated each of our, what, it, what when we we're paid like the three operators at full time would get. Yeah, and so I could actually do like payroll taxes or anything. Okay. So okay. I just do back of the map. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's fucking okay. nice. Right. I didn't know like it was included. Goes through, there's no, Well, so I think it roughly correlates because I remember not too long ago we went through and looked at the total wire plant budget and it seems like it was around 240, 250, somewhere in that neighborhood, not including a power. Yes, yeah, well, I just pulled the expense oh. or the sheet. I accelerated me what was paid out for um, from June to July. Yeah. The, the budget year, yeah. I used all those, and the, I mean, I understand that that's going to change, you know, from year to year, but last, that's what it was averaging. Yeah. So, see, yeah. that's the reason, that's about, you know, and we're not slowing down on using chemicals or anything like that. And not at the moment. Not at the moment. I'm trying, but, you know. All right. Well, I appreciate it. You know, we're not having water, you know. <laughs> it's going to be the same for a while. I forgot to make check too. I just went with that. So maybe you're getting well, right? Sure. Okay. You're getting well? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm here. Um, and maybe next week I can deal with that. Uh, Jail and maintenance. And if it's a slow Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, if it's slow to the week, I mean, we can just file some stuff off and make some notes and be ready for when Tyson. Right. Yeah, they'll definitely be out this week. Yeah, they all start uh, checking in tonight, tomorrow. So. Okay, so I'll make it like the middle of next week. Sometimes yeah. things are slow. Yeah. If we could bow off some stuff, that would give me some information to pass it, but we wouldn't have to wait. Tyson wouldn't have to wait around others to be that. We could have that. We have a zone sure. that we want to investigate on. And be able to make the most use of his time. Yeah, Tabitha just sent out the latest set of uh, like numbers as far as groups that we got coming in and stuff. So, not the amount, but the, not the groups we got coming in. So, 
I will check that tomorrow and see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah we can get you accurate on it. Yeah, we can get yeah. pretty close to knowing, you know, hey, we're going to be dead right now. Yeah. Yeah. I hope I'm going to miss the pool. Because I know they have the pool off today. Kind of uh, that changes things this weekend yeah. when we're full. And, and I can pull the occupancy by day and then CSV kind of spreadsheet where we can take that and take the water data and just pick a day. Is it a day that I'm yeah. off? I'm over. I'm not switch a day. Well, I mean, I can, I can yeah, we'll go on day. day. Figure it out. Man, yeah. okay. You know, I'm into it. I'll do whatever. I know. So we're all on your side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I will do whatever. Whatever. If you want me to come over on a Saturday and start, you know, doing bows, check it out. I mean, it's just. Something it's trial and error. We've been doing it for so long, though. That's why well, so we get, I mean, like, I was so excited that they turned that out, and I'm going to the water plant. Oh, like, so she called me immediately. It's like, oh, I can't believe it. Look, they're not using any kind. It'll just stop. I don't want to. I mean, it just, it's like, it's normal. So the tank stopped losing? Yes. Yeah. My concern is, did we just shut off the back of the water tanks of the village? No, no I don't no. think so. They still had gravity. Well, we just saw the gravity that it might have cut it off from going up to there, but yeah. uh, we still had, it was if, as long as there was. I, mean, I, don't a I don't think anybody was out of the water. I mean, the marina and the top of the dam may have been out of the water, but I don't think I cut anybody off. I mean, I had no problem saying, you know, we don't have any water. Right. But you were still on, right? Whoa, okay. Oh, you weren't? Okay. That's okay. how you blow on but, but we only uh, we only had it off for how long? It was only like an hour. Yeah, it wasn't very long. Gotcha. When you, uh, so when you turn it back on, though, uh, could you tell from the skater how far it had dropped? Yeah, it just, I mean, it was like maybe a quarter of a foot in an hour. It was, it was a little, I mean, it was like less, the best I remember was less than 25 gallons. Maybe you know, I can't remember that. I mean, it was like, oh my God, we almost had a flat line in the tank, and that, it's usually just, you know, the dam. Mm -hmm. But until we get the, um, so the problem is with that computer down there, so that computer crash, Thomas got me up and going to our control of hunt and see the tank levels. I can't go back and pull those charts out of the steel. So I guess that thing kind of picked up. Um, I need to get in touch with um, my friend, um, like, yeah, so you gotta talk to him about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. That computer that she brought me on, it's got the internet on it now. The yeah. Airport. Could very well, that software could probably, if he could, if I could give him remote, I mean, if he had a remote access to the old computer, he could work on the, pro, the software for me if we had problems in the beginning. He could uh, access this remotely to fix what I needed. I know he had to do that a time or two. I don't know if we could. We plug that loss and then USB into that. If he would be able to come in and get, we could give him access to that computer remotely if he could download what we needed on that. Yeah, I mean, I that's just like a random sure. junk. Like, yeah, you know, we should just sidebar on that. There's definitely a couple of things we could look at for that then if, if he's ready to port all that. Um, but like, the, yeah, it would be great too if we could figure yeah, out like, yeah, the yeah, satellite thing yeah. here by the front yeah. unit or that is the worst. Yeah, thing. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Being able to pull this oh. part, what it was able, I could really go back and see my data and yeah, really well, what's uh, happened in here tonight. I have a peak, you know, if it's just steady while surface, you know, if it's jumping, like, jumping, and I can't do that right now. Yeah, it's just loading the program on the computer or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to try to tackle that. I don't know. But if he can, 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 Get them another computer, or yeah, yeah, get a better computer somewhere. Yeah, there's this stop gap, yeah, got a transitional computer. Oh, the that you brought down there. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is just for them to do the Excel. Yeah, we right. needed Excel. I was using my own personal. I had an old Windows computer yeah. to be able to do my monthly report, and then Dennis needed access to Excel yeah. to be able to this lead and proper stuff. Yeah. And uh, well, and also you don't want to leave your computer. I mean, it's your computer. Yeah. Yeah. What about his stuff though that he has to send in too? Don't mean he can just put a computer on the front end, but we're open. So he's able to send his stuff on that too. Yeah, I'm, he has yeah. to tell me I'm not going to help him do that, but I don't know how to do that. But we have a computer that is subjected to the internet now, and then how we can be able to send it, be able to send it everything and have the office suite on that. Yeah, yeah. we'll get it. So, yeah, and my laptop, I mean, it's older. I don't like these all products now, so. 
the windows. You know, when I was working with 2013, sale was the best I could do. But it worked. It was slow, but it worked. But, you know, <laughs> I know. I, I mean, honestly, the maps would probably be more I'd go with because they can't get But there's that program right. to say this time that you could to sell on a map to pro the app. It is it just, just not what you want, right? Yeah. It is. I mean, it is. It's it's sort of, I think it's numbers on the Mac. Oh, you can even like, put Excel like yeah. the, the app on the Microsoft on it. It's just not. It's oh no, it's like Mac. It's um, it's got all these functions in it where it has to go and upload the databases, and I have to. It's just a mess yes, that I'd rather not deal with. So I just have the old one and it took me four hours to do a you know hour and a half job, but hey, that's why. I didn't have to do it. Suck it up and move on. I think that's everything I have. Hopefully, better days next month. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll keep plugging away at it. And as yes, always, any questions? Y'all yes. know where to find me. Yes. <laughs> I, I know all the places that I do. <laughs> hey, I'm going to go home. And I'm still going to go home. Yeah, the track team. So, good to see you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, touch with me more. I'll give you the chat. Okay. Oh, okay. It's not great. Alrighty. Uh, do we have any other discussions? Um, you guys have anything for now? I think we got a lot to take it out. I know, you guys should have got better done than I did. It's like, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we have any accent items either, so. No, actually. No. All right. All right. Uh, the next meeting is going to be uh, October 16th. So earlier in the month meeting, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna go ahead and follow, I think what it follows is that the Wednesday is actually before uh, the TDA meeting. So TDA meeting be called, you know, like how it's going. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're the first. Yeah. This is, yeah. All right. So we're going to adjourn here at 636. Thank you out there in the Netherlands for attending today.